Everybody's having fun out there, even the doves. Yeah. Yeah, they're up in the feeders and everything else. <laughs> I still got to feed the crows yet. <clears throat> I want to have my own breakfast first. See if I can sneak up there without them. Because when they see you, they will see the blue jays run. Eh? The doves don't care. Yeah, the blue jays all take off. These are called morning doves. You hear them cooing in the trees. They're here all winter. So are the blue jays. And chickadees and that. Stay clear. Oh, he took off. <laughs> I know one thing I gotta do, I gotta put apples out. Uh, there's my generator. I might as well just leave it sit there. It doesn't smell or nothing. <clears throat> it's a good little generator. But keep it in the warm and it will start easier. No, I don't start it in the house. It's outside. Well, let's go have a look at the, the escape artist. Who's the escape artist? You, and you're in your proper chair, aren't you, Connor? Did you run away yesterday? Uh, some people are commenting that uh, I'm yelling at Connor. Connor and I have been doing this for seven years. It's a little game we play. And when I'm, you know, yelling at him to get out of the chair and stuff, that doesn't mean nothing. That's all just a game. He doesn't pay no attention to me. Never did. So that it's meant to be funny. And if I yell at him to come in outside, well, that's, you know, he's not going to listen to me anyway. So it's all for the, the video that we do it. And you don't care, do you, Connor, if I say get out of the chair? He doesn't pay attention. Do you, bud? Huh? You don't pay attention. No. Charlotte should be in the bedroom where she could could be anywhere. I don't know. Uh, no, she's not in here. <clears throat> so I had this was all full of apples last night, and look at the see how the they got it all trampled down, but they got all the apples out though. So. I gotta put more out. And that's what we'll do right now. Okay, we just put the apples out. Uh, some of them are way down in the woods because <laughs> there's an ice crust uh, on top of the uh, snow. So a bunch of them way down in the woods, but they'll find them. So, anyway, they're all ready for some more apples today if they come out. But the temperature right now in Fahrenheit is uh, is five degrees. And I'll ask Google here. Uh, this my this uh, Dr. Dan gave me this for Christmas a couple of years ago. <clears throat> anyway, hey Google, what's the temperature? In Eureka, it's currently minus 8 degrees. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's minus 15. So it's minus 15 in our temperature and plus 5 in, uh, in Fahrenheit. <clears throat> hey Google, who is the raccoon whisperer? Jim Blackwood. Here's a summary from the website m.facebook.com. Jim Blackwood is known online as the Raccoon Whisperer. Colleen Jones visited him at his Picto home for the dinner rush. People also ask me, where is Raccoon Whisperer? Want to hear the answer? Yes. On the website HuffPost.com, they say, 
lots and lots of raccoons. The retired RCMP officer and self-described raccoon whisperer has grown a sizable YouTube following for videos featuring him feeding raccoons on his property in Pictou County, Nova Scotia. So there you have it, and there's more and more on there too. Um, who's this? Oh, Charlotte! <laughs> I felt somebody hit me in the back. Charlotte, weren't you girl? Yes, you are. You're just a baby girl. And you know what? She never tries to get out. She get out once, and she was out for 13 hours, and uh, Rascal helped me capture the raccoon. She blocked her from going down the other staircase, and uh, she ran right in the house. And she hasn't been out since. And that was many years ago, wasn't it, dear? Yeah, and she doesn't try to get out. Even if I left the door open there, she wouldn't go out. But it's not, it's not the same toll for Connor, is it? No, it's not. That Connor cat will go in a in a heartbeat. Yes, she'd be a beautiful cat for like like uh, an elderly couple. The only problem is you can't pick her up, but she'll sit up beside you and you know watch TV and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're just a sook. <clears throat> yes, you are. Okay, let's go out. Connor's out. Connor's up. Where are you? There he is. So this raccoon whispered pumpkin is going to be, it's going to be up quite a while. <laughs> I have to vacuum it every day because he's got hair all over. Right, Connor? Connor cat. Yeah. I'll show you how. Uh, we rigged up the furnace downstairs for the generator and a friend of mine showed me how to do this uh, John Cahoon, he's a burner mechanic so what you do <clears throat> I had to find the main wire which is right there and I marked it on the, I marked the switch which was furnace and I shut it off so then I cut the wire and I put these plugs on. <clears throat> the left plug is uh, male and the right one is female. So uh, when the power goes out, what we're going to do, you unplug these. This plugs into an extension cord that goes up to the uh, to the uh, generator which will quarter go out through this window up to the generator and uh, then I have another cord that plugs into the generator goes to the fridge and that's all we run it's just the furnace and the uh, the fridge so it was simple to put these together and so you when the power comes back on you just plug these back in and and away you go you're back online again <clears throat> And I just want to say, my friend in Oregon, uh, Susan, she sent me these curtains for my uh, music room. So, it's, and, and uh, the one thing I like about them, they're up high. The other curtains were all full of, uh, of uh, hair from, uh, from Connor and Charlotte being up there all the time. Okay, I'll turn the lights off here. I got these sneakers here. I'm going to uh, take and show the boys there. Now, I just want to show you. There's Connor, right? Now, when the lady did the, the drawing, all right, there's, look at that. Wow. It's so exact, I can't get over it. Like, she cut, she got every uh, detail of him. Right, Connor? Yeah, and she did the same thing with uh, with Charlotte. The markings, everything. I can't get over it. So I'm taking these down to show the boys at the uh, at the website. There she is. There's the little girl. There's the little girl. I was just looking at the her picture there. 
Uh, my God, she's got the face. Everything is like her mark, like like right where the face is. Look at that. She got it perfect. Talk about talent. So anyway, I want to take these. I have these on my uh, in my music room because I like a lot of cat raccoon stuff there. So uh, we're going to uh, show these to the boys, and that, but I leave them on a shelf down there. And this is uh, visitors must be approved by the cat. Well, there's only one cat that has to do the approval, and that's him. <laughs> Are you waiting for my cereal? Do you want cereal? Connor, do you want some cereal? Do you want Cheerios? Do you want Cheerios? Do you want Cheerios? Do you want a treat? Who wants a treat? See, the treats are down on the table. Oh, the squirrels are. When you give treats, you Everybody knows you have to come up on the table, see? I know, you're not supposed to be on the table, but oh, look at the squirrel. Been a while since I've seen the squirrel up here. There he is. He wants to get some seeds. There he goes. Oh, it's a regular wildlife park here. Yeah, it's a regular wildlife park. They move so quick. He's getting the seeds, boy. Do you see the squirrel? What? You see the squirrel? Look at that face. <clears throat> okay, so we'll set this here and he's going to have some lobster. Rockin' lobster. You ready? I got my... I like these pajama pants. My uh, stepdaughter keeps me supplied in them. Here. Look, and she'll even eat them. Here. He didn't. Here, you eat yours too. Look at him now. Look. See? Sometimes she'll eat them and sometimes she won't. What well, he'll do, he'll go over and eat hers too. Well, she's coming back. Eat your treats, girl. Have your treats. Come on. Well, she's showing her attention. <laughs> little girl. The little girl. See this girl's back out again. <clears throat> there he is. Get the place to himself now. No bacon today, so we're taking the day off making bacon. So anyway, that's the day in the life of the raccoon whisper. <laughs> right, Charlotte? You gonna have some treats? You gonna have some treats? It's gonna rub up against me. No. See, he's eating hers now. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to Andy Guinness today. I gotta drop off uh, my uh, this uh, necklace that uh, I bought the uh, I bought the chain for them, but. Uh, Bishop Kulik sent these crosses up, so I got chains made for the men, for myself, and then my two twin sisters, and uh, 
and Barry Pultz has the other one. And I've never seen a cross with the uh, with Christ on it before, like in in, in in done like this. Usually it's just the bare cross. Anyway, that's going to Andy Ganesh today, so they'll be all delivered. Had to get the chain at Charm Jewelers. And yes, very expensive. <laughs> Cost me over two grand for three chains. Right, Connor? 